17th January 1921. Exactly 100 years ago, one of the most astonishing illusion of all times was ready to have its debut in front of a great audience in the Fresbury Park Empire Theatre in London, thanks Selby, a British magician that with his assistant Betty Barker will present this illusion called Sewing Through a Woman, or as we know uh, today, Sewing a Lady Enough. Actually, a few uh, months before, in uh, December of 1920, he presented in front of a smaller audience just to test this illusion with Jane uh, Glenrose, another of his uh, assistants. Robert Houdin, uh, in his memory, in reality, presented this illusion, or actually described a very similar illusion presented by an Italian magician, Torini, that uh, allegedly presented this astonishing effect in 1809 in front of nothing less than the Pope uh, Pio VII. But in reality, uh, the history of magic seems to be a bit different. In fact, probably Turini even didn't exist. And uh, actually, this sort of description is part of the imagination of the great mind of Robert Houdin. But we know for sure that the debut of this great illusion was the 17th January 1921, 100 years ago, in United Kingdom, in London, thanks Selbit. And immediately this illusion will become a classic of magic. Uh, just a year after, Horace Golding will uh, present this illusion with some uh, modification. And, uh, Actually, he then started to present this illusion with uh, the lady not anymore inside the box, but on a table, and so with a buzz saw, with an electric saw, and uh, with him also uh, first on or uh, the sorcar, and more in uh, modern times, uh, David Copperfield with uh, his uh, saw of uh, death or death saw. Uh, Siegfried Roy, the recent uh, broken one that presented this, or uh, thinking about. Uh, the international and Italian audience, Silvan, Il Maestro, the Italian Il Maestro, that uh, actually presented this with a sort of homage for this illusion in 1990, showing a celebrity lady, Carmen Russo, just enough. But why always is a lady that is so enough? Well, there is no misogynistic approach by any magician or any prestidigitator. Actually, uh, there are technical and practical reasons uh, why we have always a female assistant and it's always a lady that has to be so enough. And of course, we need to think about the history of magic and the role model and the tradition uh, behind stage performances. There is also an anthropological and ethological reason. Uh, in fact, uh, magic as uh, games uh, is a part of the male world. If we look, for example, uh, even the animals where usually uh, games are part of the training uh, for uh, male animals to become more aggressive or competitive. But we move from the nature into the culture as a human being. And this is why even in the past we had a great female magician, like the great sensation Edna or Adelaide Herman or um, uh, Edwin uh, Fry, the greatest uh, mentalist, female mentalist of all time, or Talma, that was the queen of coins, a great uh, manipulator in uh, the stage uh, setting. And uh, what about the modern time? Just to uh, remember only few of them, Magic Babe uh, Nang or uh, Fai Presto or Dorothy Dietrich, that actually is uh, the first female magician that present showing a man in half. Now, like uh, a sort of celebration of uh, this great illusion and to say thanks to all our uh, female performer and female assistant, I would like to show you my version of Sewing a Lady Enough. And nothing less than the, the queen of the lady and the queen of the assistant, the queen of heart. This will be the lady that we will sew enough. And this is the apparatus in which we are ready to put our lady inside. And now that the lady is inside, watch carefully. I want to do even more. 
I want to cut the lady two times. And now, watch the magic happen. As all the illusionist, restitutio ad integro. And now, our beautiful assistant is ready to take her big round of applause. And with this applause, we say thanks. Thanks to Selbit for this great illusion. Thanks to all the assistants and all the magicians, the female performer that we saw, we are seeing, and we will see in the future, applauding them for their great magic.